What is going on everybody? It's Mark here with another video and I'm sure you have noticed, maybe you haven't, there was no slurp. So I've been getting a lot of comments and I responded as we'll do a social experiment. Thought it was more of my signature, but at the end of the day, it's for you. So going along with the themes about responding to comments, I get a ton of comments about the Surface Book. Hey man, why don't you ever review it? Do you not like it? No. I think it's a great product. I've had meh experiences with it in the past, but that was a little while ago. So I figured why not take it out of the box right now, check it out. So here is the bundle. It comes kind of with three things. The actual Surface Pro right here, the tablet, the pen, which is very important, and the detachable keyboard. So I got, I got it in teal, you know, being a little bit retro here. Okay, let's boot this thing up if we have juice. I guess we're dead. I didn't come prepared for this. So we should get a boot here. Surface, there we go. So it was just dead. Getting critical updates. This is one thing I think I never miss from Windows is the fact that all of a sudden when you try to shut down or you boot up your computer, you are updating so much. Okay, here we go. I just wanna use the machine. There we go, that was my name. Hi, again. Hello, getting everything ready for you. You know what's funny? You know what's gonna happen? It's gonna tell me I need to update something, I need to reboot, watch. A few moments later. Update, I knew it. So yes, there has been a wardrobe change. So what is the next day? This thing needed to update for a while. I got pretty frustrated, so I filmed another video. We probably, probably yeah. Now that everything is usable and user-friendly, why don't we take a second here and take a look at the hardware itself. In the front, we have a webcam, very typical stuff. What you should probably also know is the fact that it has face recognition software. So to unlock it, all you gotta do is kind of look at the device, and if it recognizes you, it'll snap you right in which is an awesome feature. Top left corner, we have a hold button. Right beside that, volume rocker. On the left hand side, there's the never ever missed headphone jack, shout out. And on the right hand side, we have the display port along with a full size USB charging cable. What you'll notice here is, is that there's a little slot for a little SD card, so you can actually expand the storage quite a bit. Not a bad touch if you ask me. Now, one props I wanna to give to Microsoft is the way this thing feels in the hand. Everything feels great, everything from the, the click of the button to the pen to the actual keyboard, the trackpad, very responsive. However, last night when I was updating and having my troubles, it took me all night. Like I, I still can't get over the fact that it took full night for me to use a device I just pretty much spent 1500 bucks on. So mind boggling, this pen, Superb, like it feels great in the hand, the right weight. Even got a little eraser, so ugh, let me let me just show you. So I've opened up one note, and now I'm gonna write. Here we go, I'm used to the iPad Pro, so I may have bias in kind of comparing them, but I guess that's kind of the point. All right, here we go. Hello? Oh, you can tell right away. You kind of have to write slower. What I am noticing right now is that there is a bit of latency. Like if I want to kind of write cursive, the, the, the precision is just very different than, than what I'm used to on the iPad. So if I want to write a little bit smaller, it kind of just like shrinks into one big mush. I'm sure you'll be fine with it once you get used to it, without a doubt. The palm rejection, it's all there. One really cool thing that I think Apple should sign of a steal from these guys is the actual eraser. So you're writing, oh no, I made a boo-boo. All you do, flip it, and it feels like an eraser. There's like a texture on it, so it feels like you're actually erasing off a piece of paper, which is an awesome feature. So that's one no. It works, palm recognition's awesome. Now let's talk about the keyboard. The keyboard is something I'm extremely torn about. It's even got a trackpad, which is an awesome, awesome feature. However, I had a problem with it yesterday. A problem that was kind of fixed by me re connecting it. So it didn't recognize the keyboard last night. So what I had to do to fix that was just un kind of re-put it together twice. It took me two tries and now it works perfectly fine. Everything's there, but I had that issue. And I, and I feel like for 12, 13, even if you get the better one than this, you're paying close to 1500 bucks. You shouldn't have any kind of issues like that. Does that make any sense? When it's working, it works perfectly. I love the tactile feedback. I love the trackpad. I love the feel of this like, suede-ish material. It's backlit, which is incredible. Like, that's crazy to me. Windows is a little bit finicky. I will give them that. But this, this props to you, 
Microsoft, like this device feels fantastic. It's solid, the pen, it even, it even clips on magnetically so you don't lose your pencil. Apple, take note, come on, like this isn't that hard to design. Like this device is awesome. I just couldn't get over the fact that it took me almost three to six hours to update this thing last night. So if you're looking for a tablet that has a full OS that you can do everything you can do on a PC, this is for you. There's a few kind of nooks and crannies you might have to get used to, but at the end of the day, it does what it promised. It's a great piece of hardware. Just beware that you will have to update it for a good 12 hours before using it. All right, guys, so that's the Surface Pro 4. Surface Pro 4, if, if you're into Windows and you want something to replace a full PC but also be a tablet, this is for you. If you're not and if you're looking for that precision, 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 I would highly recommend the iPad. There's differences, video coming. But for now, thanks again for tuning in. As always, please hit that like, share, and subscribe button down below. Brownie points are always found at my social media sites. Links again in the description. But for now, I'm gonna sit here while we outrow. Just kidding, I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave.